Ninth chapter starts where Chungo and Ido went to a trip. Chungo was driving the car and Ido was enjoying the view. Ido says, the air smells so fishy. That's so interesting. Chungo says, you're going to catch a cold at this rate. Ido replies, no, I never catch a cold. Chungo asks Ido, are you that happy to be here? Ido replies, it's my first time, that's why. You would never know what I feel right now. Not even in your afterlife. Chungo smiles and says, is there anything you want to try? Ido replies, yes, there is something I want to try. Chungo asks, what is it? Ido brings Chungo to an ice cream place. Chungo is pretty confused, he says, was the thing that you wanted to try is eating ice cream? Ido replies, there is a menu that is exclusively sold here. They don't even do deliveries, so the only way to have them is to visit the store. Suddenly, Dalbak calls Chungo. Ido asks Chungo, do you know him? Chungo replies, they're my friends. I called them since they said they were nearby. Dalbak introduces himself to Ido. He says, hello, ma'am. My name is Dalbak. Raleigh also introduces herself to Ido. She says, hello, my name is Raleigh. Ido says they are some interesting people. In the next scene, waiter delivers the ice cream as per the order. Ido gets surprised looking at the ice cream. Ido and Raleigh taste the ice cream. Chungo asks Ido, do you like it? Ido replies, yes, it's delicious. Now I know why I had to try them. But why aren't you two eating? Chungo says, we're good. Later, Dalbak, Raleigh, Chungo and Ido went to Karyuk and dashing cars as well. At the end of the day, they went to a beach. Ido was standing in the water. She says, this feels really nice. Everything is so interesting. Chungo says, I'm glad that you're happy. Ido replies, it's all thanks to you. Chungo says, no, I was also happy to spend the day with you. Ido replies, thank you for making a happy memory for me. Chungo gets a little bit embarrassed. Suddenly, Dalbak says to Chungo, Young Nim, it's time to go get something to eat. Chungo says to Ido, we should get going. I booked a really good restaurant. Ido replies, sounds good. With that, they went to eat at the restaurant. Restaurant was owned by an old friend of Chungo. Owner says, sorry, Young Nim, I should have gotten you a ride here. Chungo replies, it's fine. I'm glad to see that your business is doing well. Owner says, oh, right. I got this one specially ready for you, Young Nim. I made this with the freshest ingredients. Chungo replies, I was worried that this wasn't on the menu, but you really saved me. Thank you. Owner says, don't worry about it, Young Nim. I'm just very glad to see you again. Chungo says to Ido, please, give it a taste. I'm sure you will love it. Ido tastes the dish, and she loves it. In the next scene, we can see I.L. Sung Group's Eugen is hanging upside down. He is brutally injured. The person who gave orders to those cops from the previous chapter says to Eugen, I will do what you want if you answer my question sincerely. Eugen looks at him and says, those 20 people, fuck, I shouldn't have accepted that offer. Man replies, well, it's fine if you don't answer my questions. Killing you is easier for me anyways. You and your family. That's why all you have to do is answer truthfully. For your cute little daughter. Man says, looks like you had a daughter that you sent for adoption after laundering her identity. It took a long time for us to find her. Your identity laundering skills are truly remarkable after all. Eugen replies in anger, you piece of shit. Man says, it's probably her first time seeing her father since birth. What a shame. And that's how the ninth chapter ends.